Hey everybody, and welcome back. Oh yeah, I did a swan dive off of, well, the bridge earlier. The yeah. side of the bridge, and boy, what a graceful swan dive it was. Yep. Hey Fred, how's it going? Remember me? I'm pretty sure you remember me. Oh, well, I think you remember me as well. <laughs> I mean, uh, I didn't even know you could pull off a swan dive better than uh, the Tomb Raider swan dive. Oh yeah. In Watch Dogs, it was crazy. That kind of reminds me, uh, did you hear about that, um, the movie Pixels? No. What, you never heard of that I, one? I may. It, it, it's it's where about? the these remember those remember the time capsule things they sent in this. Well, I wouldn't say time capsules, but when they sent their uh, things from outer space. Yes. Yes. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Where the the uh, the video games uh, characters from the '80s come to life and start attacking us. And wasn't the uh, original creator of Pac-Man in the movie too? I think he's supposed to be into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they have like Adam Sandler and everyone who's supposed to be like you know with um. Centipede, um, the world's greatest arcade players. Yep. Yeah, yep, I saw that. Yep, it was I'm hilarious. Surprised. Adam Sandler uh, is coming out with another movie after an absence. Well, I think he after doing all the movies that he's done after a while, I mean, because he's the kind of actor that you either love or you hate. Yeah, that's basically you... how his style is. Yeah, and Adam oh. Sandler made so much money. Yeah, my, my God, Adam Sandler made so much money. I always liked him as an actor. He did oh, some yeah. very funny stuff. And his, uh, one of, uh, Pump Drunk Love, that was a good one. That wasn't a comedy, that was actually a drama. Pump Drunk Love? Yeah, where he is a mattress salesman, I think. Really? Yeah, it, it was, it was an interesting one. Huh. It, he actually almost got a, a Golden Globe nomination, I think. Well, really? Yeah. And he was serious in it? Yeah, he was, it was a serious role. Wow. Yeah, if you get a chance to watch it, it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't get... The Pocky is addictive. I know. And, two, that doesn't get as much recognition as some of his other sillier works. Like, yeah. what, uh, Happy Gilmore? Oh, uh, yes, that's... <laughs> I think that's what everyone really remembers him as, is Happy Gilmore. Mm-hmm. They default back to that. Yeah, and also, um... Uh, the one we were just talking about where it said, uh, p uh peeing your pants is cool. Ooh. I forgot that, what that movie came from, though. Um, Little Nicky? No, that was when he was the devil's son. That was also a funny one. I like, um, I'm partial to anger management myself. Yeah. Him and Jack Nicholson were fantastic in that movie. Oh, apparently, I didn't know until Matthew Santos told me <laughs> that... One of Jack Nicholson's friends decided an appropriate birthday present would be to prank him by constantly having uh, sounds of pigs getting eaten by bears playing outside of his house. Oh, God, yes. Uh oh. And shooting like... Why did that Whoa. happen? What happened? Whoa, his body was strong to hold on after all his bones shattered. Exactly, but still, why did I fall? I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> it looked like you ran over the railing, but I don't know how you did that. Exactly. Well, that was just interesting. Continue. Right. So, he did that in addition to firing a 22 millimeter gun yeah. outside of his house like nine times just to make Jack Nicholson think that his stalker, which he really didn't have at the time, was waiting outside for him. So, he spent his birthday... Hiding in the closet of his home until the police came. Yep. Happy birthday. Yeah, exactly. Like, what? What kind of... We wouldn't be friends anymore after that. <laughs> yep. Those are those special type of friends that people have, you know? Oh. No. No. Yep, I understand completely. It's like, I'm only going to be your friend because I'm actually afraid of what you really might do. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like... Like right. the men mentality that I have sometimes to some people. <laughs> like... It's the same kind of moments where I'm like, you get everybody gets one. <laughs> one, I, I, I can see that everyone has a bad day. Sh fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, oh, <laughs> you're gonna get it. <laughs> no holdbacks. Oh my goodness, that's um, yeah, I'd be so pissed off. I don't think I could recover from that. <laughs> it would be constant revenge for the rest of our natural lives. Yeah. Oh. It was like that one time I filled someone's car up with pennies. That was actually funny. And I covered someone's whole entire car with sticky notes. 
That was actually funny. Please, yeah. I had nothing to do with it. I'm not guilty by association. Yeah, Please. there you go. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is one guy over. Okay. Uh, the opinions expressed by the Hatter are not necessarily shared by everyone else on the show. Exactly. Ah, disclaimer. And there you go. He's dead now. Yes. But my, my goodness. The douchiness. Um, you know, so something target. that freaked me the hell out the other Boy. day. My girlfriend. I know I've been talking my, about my girlfriend a lot lately. <laughs> but she shows me things. Um... Get your minds out together. That too. Um, she showed me. She 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 had taken martial arts and she um, had friends from martial arts on Facebook stuff like that. Yeah. She showed me a picture of one of her friends, and in that picture, there is a freaky silhouette, a uh, white silhouette, of. A person stand. She showed me a picture, and the picture was of her friend and somebody else sitting in a church pew. Yep, hold on. And somebody took a picture of the two of them sitting in church pew. It's nice. Until you notice that there is a freaky dead. Nope, not today. There's a freaky white silhouette of a person standing maybe three to four feet in front of them, posing for the picture. <laughs> and. Uh, when you take a, 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 a soldier from the Civil Army's yeah. picture, like when they're standing with their gun and everything, yeah. it looks just like it. And they said that they didn't notice that pic. They didn't notice what was in the picture until they got home. Uh, and I said, that'd be the last time I go to that church. Yeah. There is no free... And I mean, like, some, some people say, oh, it's kind of blurry. No, this thing is there. Yep. It is clearly there. I'm like, what? Because it, it was like one of the, uh, uh, right. it was like one of the first things that my eye caught. Yeah, I when bet I it would be. Like, what the hell? What, the, what is that? Oh, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Flash photography. I will not. Yeah, well, that's where the whole thing of take a picture of your soul goes away, or takes a picture of your soul and steals it. Um. I don't know who saw that was, but I don't think they had flash photography that well at that time like that. No, probably not. And if that's the case, then why are you hanging out in a church? Well, right? maybe there was something before the church. See, I would imagine so. Hard. Like Indian burial grounds, I would very much so imagine that uh, that was the case. Yeah. Boy, hey, friend, how's it going? Remember me? You're the one that kept shooting at me. Aiden has some strong ab and leg muscles to jump out of the water like that? Yeah. It's well, incredible. After what he's been through, I guess he... I was about to say, how do I get up there? I think he I see is, it now. He is in Dexter shape. I will oh, yeah. give him credit for that. Well, as, oh, right. as a lot of people would say that um, it's you have to be surprisingly well-built to succeed as a serial killer. You do! Because I do. remember there's someone who actually did something like that. They, um, they showed this one guy who was... Uh, I think they've mentioned it on on um, Achievement Hunter where this guy who wanted to become a serial killer he tried it out and he nearly almost failed because he was too weak so he started going to the gym so he could succeed in becoming a serial killer. Really? Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. Well, that's uh, the plot of the movie and everything. Uh, then there's there's this one wacky movie of how to become a serial killer that is funny. Really? Yeah. It's basically just like this guy like giving a. Per you know, like in the convention centers where they have these people who uh, like get uh, body and bo body and mind speeches. You know, yeah. they try to get them on this plan and everything. Yeah, and that's what he's doing. He's doing that, but on, on how to succeed in becoming a seal killer, what you need to do, what tools you need, how to back up plan, all this other weird stuff. Can you legally do that? It was a movie. That was the thing. But probably legally, probably not. That probably wouldn't be a good thing. I, I don't think it'd be taboo. Well, it's taboo per se, but I don't want to say illegal. Because you could probably post it up on the internet and be A-OK. -okay. Well, it, that's just... It, it would seem to me that that would be in the same light as how to make a bomb recipe. Well, that's the thing, yeah. I mean, there's there are those people who can make books and have it as, you know, off the... Off the um, I don't know, I guess not public, publicly known, but in some circles they can have books like that, you know? Really? Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh. Hey, friend, remember me? I didn't know that. Yep. Because oh, crap, crap, crap. It's like, 
like how to be a serial killer strikes me as something like how that's a book like how to get away with murder how to hijack a plane hey hey, yes you're gonna blow up now oh you're not well oh he's good he's not good anymore he's swiss cheese he he can't throw back bullets nope all right so Um, i'm gonna do uh offensive driver just because I can. Hell yeah. And I don't really need the other one because on this, on the realistic mode, it really doesn't do much. All right, I so where was that one? Um, oh, man. yes, I was going to her. But, man, yes, yeah, spinoffs. Dexter spinoffs. There was supposed to be a Dexter spinoff. Yeah, there was, there was rumors of uh, some something going on in the series. I don't... They didn't really go into great details because it wasn't supposed to come out for another... Oh, when did Dexter end? 14, 2014, uh, or 2013? 13, 13. Okay, so it was supposed to come out somewhere between this year and next year. Oh, really? Yeah. That was the rumor, at least. I didn't know it was supposed to be, like, that soon. You know, it strikes me um, how Uh-oh. fast well, that didn't sometimes work get... out. What the? What? I did a Houdini and came out of the top when there was no sunroof. Beat well, that, wait. people. Did get out. Did he just Hulk smash the yeah, other yeah, window just, when he did it, too? Yeah, he broke the window. He's supposed to... I don't know what happened. Did we ever talk about the Hulk on the show and how I don't understand how his pants are the only things that survive? Well, we talked about something like that. I think I with think. Um, Sunset Overdrive. I think yeah, yeah, that it had. Been but uh, but on the new Avengers, they have special pants for him for when he now? holds out. Yeah, now. Well, that was that was always the funny thing because they did that in the second Hulk movie what? where they they gave his girlfriend gave him purple stretchy pants. Purple sweatpants? Yeah, well, no, these special... I don't think it was sweatpants, but it was some kind of stretchy pants. It's like, what's this for? So when you, you know, go out... I don't think it's my color. It's like this purple outfit. It's funny. It's like, so when you walk out, these specs will keep everything together. Yeah, well, that was always... Well, it, you know, realistically, yes, he would rip through his pants, but it's comic books and TV, so you don't yeah. want having this person, you know, Hulk out, and you just see his... Giant Hulk penis? Yeah. Like a uh, Mr. or was it Captain Amazing? Mr. Universe. Yes. Big blue dong mm-hmm. on the middle of the. I couldn't believe they got away with showing a giant blue flaccid penis on during the. What was it, The Watchers? Yeah. Fucking. Uh, well, it was. Because uh, it's like HBO, you know. I hated. I hated The Watchers. I'm not gonna. Uh, are you one big fan of them? So Hold on. Royalty. I don't know anything about Russia at all. I feel so embarrassed. Don't you adore our beautiful city? Have you been here before? How long do you plan on staying? Oh, goodness. I am Yes, you are. Here. I am so sorry to keep you waiting, but this traffic is horrendous. Order drinks, Mr. Shenkov. I'll be there soon. The club has a top chef at the country club. He's even been on television. Have a look at the menu. Okay, then. Well, I guess he thinks he's going to... Work out well for him. Well, buddy, you're about to have a bad day. Extremely bad day. And I'm not talking about food poison bad day. No, talking about anal probing. Yep. All right, so where is your briefcase? All of your anals. I pull that, too. Wow, it's all the way over there. Well, good thing I have a shortcut. Yay. Um, Wait, is there but, some other thing over here? You know, I, I didn't, like, the, I haven't read the comic books, I'll say that. But Oh, what, for the Watchers? Yeah, it, but it, seeing the movie makes me wish I had... Because you probably would understand more of it than I would, but it was a jacked up premise that I went to go see the movie in the first place. Oh, why? Because uh, at the time I was asked to go see a, a movie by my friend who was there with a date. Oh, okay. I didn't have a date, but he didn't tell me that his date was coming. He was just like, "Hey, you want to go out and go check out the Avengers and I was or the Watchers." I was like, okay, cool. You know, that's fine. He's like, well, the movie starts in 20 minutes. Fortunately, I was maybe like five, ten minutes away. So I said, okay, that's not a problem. Right. So I got my stuff together. I got, uh, went and went to the, watch the uh, Watchers movie. It was just me and him. So I was like, okay, well, you know, let's go on in. Now, now that I'm here, we can go ahead and get a seat. He's like, well, um. You got to wait for somebody. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for somebody. And I'm like, well, who did you invite? And I rattled off another name of one of our friends. He's like, no, 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 I, I invited somebody else. So this girl shows up. He says, he says hi to her or whatever. Yeah. So we go in, and I, I, I was confused. Yeah. I was confused on the movie, but I was more angry <clears throat> at the fact that 
he invited me to the movie to be a third wheel. And I felt uncomfortable yeah. because he invited me, but he's talking to her the whole time. So I'm just all, it's almost as if I'm not even there. Yeah. I'm like, well, dude, one, I don't have that much money. And two, if you're going to be here with her like that, why did you even invite me? That doesn't yeah, make sense. You know, well, then, by the, then by the time I tuned back into the movie, I was so lost, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah. The owl had gotten his ass beaten <laughs> yeah. for no reason. And I think he got his ass beaten. I couldn't figure out why his mask was like a Littman's test constantly. Yeah. And I think they took his mask or something strange like that. And then I saw Mr. Universe's penis. I said, no, I'm out. I'm, yeah. I'm out. I'm gone. I can't do this. And that was like the first movie I had ever just got up and walked out of. Like, I, <laughs> nope. Nope. So much nope for this. Oh, so pissed off. It wasn't the movie. It was the experience that the movie that was That led about. up to it that spoiled everything. Yeah. And so I, I didn't give the movie a fair chance. I didn't pay attention to it from the start to the finish. Ah, well, that happens. So. I'm willing to give it another shot, but damn it if that wasn't a jacked up situation. Yeah. Fudge, man. And I hate I hate when people do like, come on, just, just I mean if you're gonna use me, at least I'm not a cheap date. Yeah. All right. right. You're gonna pay for my ticket just like you offered to pay for hers, you cheap bastard. Yeah, we're gonna go Dutch. No, and and the funny thing was, he didn't even notice I had left. Yeah, like, well you son of he a was, bitch. you know, sucking faces maybe. I, well, they weren't sucking face at the point that I was there. That's what I'm saying. They probably, as soon as you left, they probably said, oh, yes, now we have the third wheel's gone. Yeah, I, the third <laughs> you know how it goes. You be there to begin with. Yeah, I know. Why did you even invite me? I was broke. Being courteous, I guess. Yes. I was so That or wanted to show off. I spent $10. You know, back in that time when I was doing that kind uh -oh. of Uh oh. Oh, what the? Oh, wow. And water. <laughs> I don't know how I flew and did all that <laughs> stuff, but go, go, gadget, extendo arms then. I am so thankful that we were recording that and yeah. caught that on camera. Um, that was what happened that one time that we weren't recording, remember? Oh, God, I wish we were, because you did some fantastic things. Yeah, well, that's basically almost what happened. Yeah. Um, all in a day's work of trying to find these sex, sex traffickers and get the job done. Right, because we work hard to be a vigilante, and we hate for our name to be sullied by anything other than ourselves. Yeah. You know, We're the ones that cause our names to go through the mud. That's right. You know, those random people that all of a sudden jumped in the way of our non-moving car and killed themselves? Pfft, crazy. You know. How does that notice something? All right, mm -hmm. see, Gates. Yep. do 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 You know, do -do 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 -do. I do worry about that. <laughs> and then I do this. Now it's somewhat safe there, but I can just walk through here. Yeah, like... Some security system you got here, bubs. I've wondered about that. Like, those gated communities where you can clearly get in through the other side. Yeah. Like, got, really? Yeah, well, it kind of reminds me of that one of the... Jill's... Pa not Jill's. Sarah's parents that are in the, you know, the nudist colony. Uh, what, uh, whatever hell you want to call it. Whereas, literally, they, ha they had the right idea. It's all surrounded by shrubbery. Really? Yeah, so no one can get in. Unless, uh, yeah, and I think you would really stick out well if, you know, you did try to sneak in. Because you'd be the only person wearing pants. No. Wearing anything. Why would you want to block people from getting in? Well, most likely not from getting in, from making people watch. Because everybody is <laughs> naked there, you know. So they don't want people, like, you know, just, oh, look, there's that woman. She's naked. That woman's naked, too. Those people are playing basketball. That woman's sunbathing. There's a fat guy doing something. <laughs> Wait, but why would they... Here. That's what I'm well, they, they, well, they don't want to have, like, you know, all these people gathered around just with binoculars taking pictures and everything. I mean, they don't, uh, they don't want that. So They don't mind if people stare, but, you know, they don't want to plaster through the whole world saying, hey, we're naked, watch us. No, they're pretty much saying we can be naked because the human body is a great thing. Of course it is. Let the interwebs appreciate that. Yeah, so that's, what, <laughs> that's basically what it's doing. <laughs> you know, I've always thought it was funny, those, uh, like, Hidden cam on nude beaches. Kind oh, of those kind of things, yeah. It's like, dude, if it's a nude beach, where are you hiding the camera? Yeah, well, in other places. I Usually guess. some people hide in the hats. Yeah, yeah, I never thought. You know what I saw? Uh, sunglass cams. Oh, yeah, those. Glasses cams. I was like, dude, how do you guys do that? And how does nobody 
you know, suspect that you're making an unusual amount of eye contact. Yeah, well, that's what happens. Right. Trying to do, there we go. Trying to do some side exclusive missions that we haven't done yet. Right. Then uh, when it's getting close, then we'll start the uh, uh, main mission one. We're cleaning up the city. Oh yes. Um, I still want my Batman mask on his face in in uh, the Watch the Dogs too. Yes, please. Developers, I'm of pretty Watch sure Dogs, the PC version has something like that. They probably have given him. I want them to have given him the, the like 1970s Batman costume. I don't want him to have an up to date one. I want it to be old. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I, uh, one of my friends is actually making his own version of Batman Beyond costume. So, oh, I thought you were about to say comic. I was like, hasn't nah, that been done? But um. He's actually got a 3D printer, and he started making all these molds and everything. It looks awesome. Wait, so are, does it, like, work? Does yeah, it it's works? functional. Really? Yeah. I don't think it'll actually be able to use it to fight crime and fly, but it's functional. Wait a minute. I got a question. Yeah. Has anyone used a 3D printer to make a functional hidden blade? Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure someone has. Yeah. They said have, but they would have to replace the plastic. I can't believe I missed that. They would have to nice. replace the plastic with an actual metal blade. Well, no, I mean, well, the, well, we don't have a three D printer that that you know makes metal. Oh, the intricate metal parts. Yeah, oh. we have. We would have to make molds. We can make a plastic mold. Then we can use that to make a actual. You know, where is this thing? Oh, it's above me would be able to actually mold it into make metal parts or whatever hell you need it to be. Mm, okay. Yeah, so you can get the whole entire thing ready to go and you just replace the pieces that you need with, you know, metal and all that other stuff. That Sooner or later we will have a 3D printer that can do metal. The, what? Yeah. Wow. It's just going to be much more... Deadly. Yeah, Deadly. if something goes wrong, it's just screwed because it's hot molten metal. It, in the wrong person's hands, like, wow, I have a 3D printer. Yep. Wow, I can make banned guns. Yeah. That's, no, that's not, okay. Yeah, well, you can make a plastic gun and make it work. Yeah, but it's like, hmm, we have plastic guns, and now I have the metal kit. speak for dead Ha! Like, no, 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 because do you know how crazily inventive people will get to yes. just... Avi, oh yeah. I'm I know sorry. exactly I'm what you're sorry. talking about. Trust me. I apologize. <laughs> I forgot who I was speaking to. Yeah, for I'm one of those people. <laughs> like, I wonder what I can create that hasn't been done. Yeah, what can I do that just make fun? Yeah. You don't need one. You, you. Oh, I've got one. Trust me. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> when I first used that thing, it was it was like sputtering out like pancake batter everywhere. When it first started, it was weird. Really? Well, because it was it was. It's like it had to get its bearings straight or something. I don't know. All I know is that all of a sudden it, it just started working on something. It's been like spitting out everything. I'm like, okay then. I you think broke well, it already. Yeah, I just <laughs> used it for the first time. But after the first time, it doesn't do that anymore. Oh, okay. I think that was just its thing, or maybe I did something wrong. Who knows? All I know is it worked. It's not. It was trying to cope with your genius and couldn't handle it. Yeah. Then okay. that's when my friend did his 3D print as a pancake batter machine. Uh, I showed you that one, remember? Yes, yes, you did, and that was absolutely cool. Uh, uh oh. Okay, so. Can you so, um, use 3D printers to make pizza? Say what now? Can you use it to make pizza? Uh, edible pizza? Yes. Probably not. Aww. We need, to, we need to just skip the whole 3D printer thing and do 3D replicate, or go with replicators. I want Star Trek here now. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to give it like three drops of water and have it make a full smorgasbord of delicious delectables. That too. It like, dude, if you're gonna run, run, don't trip. Well, That's I think he's just like, you know, up there's TV. All right, you're about to see some cool shit. Yeah. Uh, any minute now. Boom! And boom goes up. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I had to knock him out. I apologize, everyone. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. Exactly. We killed the. Uh, mafioso motorcade? Yeah. I guess. So, uh, I did the right thing. I just, you know, I just gotta make sure I don't kill uh, the guy in the van. Do you think that mob activities will become digitized in the future? Uh, I think some of them are still gonna be old school, like the guy that worked the, like the, um, 
Lucky, the guy that's in this one, because, oh. you know, it's a lot easier to track on digital yeah. than it is doing old school. Because I know someone who talked about this uh, Yakuza who would basically put everything on paper and then wouldn't use computers for calculations or anything. Really? He would, he would literally find smart people who had, a, like, very good memory mm. and use them for their for his accounts. He says, really? you will be in my, my book, basically, for guns. You will be my book for drugs. You will be my book for money. Really? And if you do good, you I'll send money to your family. If you do bad, I will, you know, well, you can figure out the rest. Wow. I mean, that sounds absolutely freaking cool when you think about it. Yeah, in a way. In a way, but then when you say the, the scale of that is just absolutely ridiculous yep ugh I mean and then you have to rely on another person you don't know where that person is 24-7 nope that's why usually some of these people are being watched very carefully yeah alright here we go wow that seems like a lot of effort to go through to keep track of yeah whoa yep oh well whoa there are a lot of people. yes there is Alright, am I in a dead end? I'm yeah. in a dead end. That's not good. No, all you gotta do is just turn. Yeah, there it is. There we go. There he goes. Alright, so I gotta. Well, he's real close. Yeah. So if I can get him. Alright, I yeah, just need to get everybody else, though. And. There he goes. I don't think he sees me. <laughs> wow. Aiden is fast. I mean. Darn it! Wait, I, I went to you... the wrong person. Oh. I shot the guy who I was, I, I was trying to kill the other guy to the right, but my Aiden auto-aimed to the person all the way at the end. I thought that the guy who was the target was There's two like, of them. Oh. That's why. And I was I was trying to be fast, but my guy went, Aiden went here when I was trying to do that, like, right there. Oh. Oh, well. Can't do anything about it now. Well, then. His Fedoran Adventures... I'm, we'll continue. I guess. In the lofty skies. Oh, I'm reborn again. I guess. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes. That is something very cool that I forgot. What? Uh, for those who don't know, uh, I have been exploring in the world of Terraria. You know what you can do in Terraria? You can mine clouds. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of do that in Minecraft a bit, in a weird way. I didn't know that you could in Minecraft. I never saw anyone do it. Well, it's in a weird kind of thing. You can make your own clouds. That's See, the what? difference. Wait. Yeah, Same you can do this game? weird thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's a mod thing I'm thinking of, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was this weird thing that you could do with clouds and you can make your own or do this weird thing that's like clouds. Well, I've know. seen, like, a giant airship. I've seen a small, like... A hot air balloon type setup. I've yeah. never seen anyone like mine a cloud because you know how high up the clouds are in Minecraft? Yep, they are. They're ridiculously high. And it's like, if I would if I could. And then you could just build clouds and use it as like Nimbus from Dragon Ball Z. Yep. But Terraria has um, not only clouds that you can mine, but you can mine rain clouds and make it rain on any small section that you want. Yep. I said, that is freaking awesome. I was so giddy when I found out that that was a thing. I didn't Minecraft. Why not? Yep. <sighs> Bye-bye. Did we? Did we? Bye-bye. Well, he's over there hiding behind us. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a weird jazz thing. Holy... Holy... I don't... All right. Yeah. <laughs> Can I don't have something to knock these that knock that guy out like a taser gun or something? Wouldn't it be nice if you had like tear gas or sleeping gas? Yeah, that would be nice, but I know I don't have that. That would be. So yeah, Why so. doesn't Aiden have something like that? Here? Well, I guess they didn't think that far ahead. Yeah, you I have in a weapon know. shop like three or four times a mission. Yeah. No, I don't want any of your non-lethal weapons. All right, so wait until that guy stops shooting, and then I'm gonna whoops it. King, Don King. Sometimes. Wow. All right, so wait. I think it is. I think there's what a yeah, kind of like that. It's foreshadowing BB King's death. He's dead now. <laughs> Something like that. All right, so. Hey, break down. All right, so there should be only two people left now, which is the guys I'm trying to knock out. So He's here goes alive? everything. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't officially kill him. I did a oh darn it! How? Because he shot me from far. Shot me in the head. That's probably why. Oh poo. I know, right? Well, I can't do anything because I don't have anything to knock people out from a distance. Well, I mean, it it only sucks because there are two of them, and you can't kill either one. So no, nope, I out. don't have. I'm trying to see because I have a frag grenade, but I don't have anything else that's for you know. Non-lethal purposes. Non-lethal. Oh, well. It's like, Aiden, you're not really suited for this kind of combat. No, because we're mostly just kill everybody. Yeah, and, and the one weapon that you do happen to have, because you obviously don't engage in fisticuffs. No, but, well, we kind of do, but they make it easier by just using the baton. Yeah. Um, you. What was that martial arts that um, uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes was known for? That well, he tank. used, um, in the original books, he used, like, sumo wrestling, a version of sumo wrestling. Really? Yeah. Huh. It was, it was a combination of boxing, sumo wrestling, and something else. With but the, the New Age one kind of does something close to CQC a bit. Yeah. I mean, that that's the one that Robert Downey Jr. says he actually practiced yeah. for, like, five years. And I'm like... Whoa. It is very effective, trust me. As yeah. you've seen it also in the movie. Yeah, like, some of those fight scenes were, like, real. Yeah, that's Robert how some things go. Kicking from, ass. Yeah, from what my teacher, basically, she taught me this, is, like, there's two different versions of fight, of, I guess, combat. There's a duel, and then there is fighting. Mm -hmm. And a duel is a friendly thing between two people to test your skills. In fighting, there is no honor. You fight, it usually ends with either one person going home and the other person you know, in a hospital or in the morgue. Yeah. That's basically what she taught me. And most of fighting is just that, fighting. Yeah. So it's it's a little different for me. So you, cause when usually people, let's say, let's fight, it says, you sure you want to do that? Because <laughs> literally, because what she taught me is that uh, since fighting is no, no honor, no rules, it basically just means that, you know, anything goes. Yeah. Which right, here we go. is what... What kind of people teach you when you learn the art of fighting? Yep. Alright, so... I mean... I got a lot more than just a gun. I've got explosives. That's right. What the... Wow. That was weird. Uh -oh. Lamp post. Stunning lamp post. Yeah. A lot of other weird things out coming out, too. The explosives in this game are so real. Yeah. Well, they try to make it somewhat realistic in this game, I guess. I love All right, it. Alright, so where is this? Oh, there he is. Well, that's the guy I need to knock out, so I can't kill him. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I should be fine here. I'm trying to find the guy I'm supposed to the the bodyguard. Thank you, lady. Oh wait, I think I see him now. Light, right. Wait, K. All right. Ah. Wait. Well, he just he... glitched. What? He... I call shenanigans on that. Okay, buddy. You know what? He instant. I cannot believe I did that again. What? You killed him? He auto aimed to the guy I wasn't supposed to kill. But you didn't. I didn't even. I thought you were reloading. I know I shot my last bullet. That was the thing. Then he was reloading. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fast forward on a lot of this crap. Hole. Stupid. I hate when it because that's the only thing I hate about auto aiming because it well because uh, the people you're not trying to kill and it goes right to them. Mm. But that's, yeah, because that's the only one thing I hate about these missions is because you have to get in close, and the only thing that you can do is do the baton whip. You have nothing else to stun them. Sucks. Yeah. Balls. Because I could risk it and shoot him in the leg, but that may kill him. Because he could have, like, you know, a glass leg or something. He could have, all of a sudden, he, he gets lead poisoning because the shrapnel travels up to his brain. Yep, and all that good stuff. Really? Uh... Yep. Well, I guess I'm trying to think, because there's got to be a position where I can get them real quick. Mm, I'm trying to think. Because I know if I s set it up in a p where I can easily just ambush them, mm -hmm. that would be nice. But I think it would have to be around here because this is a wide open space. And I could probably get them good here. Mm. And... Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, I gotta make some... To the road. Yeah, I gotta make some barriers so I can hide. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go, alright. Here they come. Yep, here they come to save the day. Who is, where is that from? 
I know one of them is from Jeff Dunham, where he just goes like, here, I come to save the day, and I look fabulous. <laughs> I remember that. I don't remember where it originally came from. Uh, I think of Mighty Mouse, maybe. It was like, here, I come to save the day, oh, it's wow. Mighty Mouse. Stuff oh. like that. I didn't know. Yeah, that one I do remember, but I don't, there's probably different alliterations from it. Yeah, I would. I know the famous ones that I always was funny was, um, Underdog. Uh, there's no need to fear, Underdog, underdog is, is here. here. Everyone always thought he was a pill popper, too. What? Well, you know, he would take a pill to become super, you know? What? I don't remember that. Yep. Oh, well, hello. Wait, I, I know, I remember Hong Kong food. Yeah, what? Hong Kong food, God, I remember him, too. <laughs> I don't know why I like Hong Kong food so much, but it was such a funny show. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Um, but Not anymore, I, you won't. Uh, didn't uh, the underdog guy used to be a shoeshine guy? Yeah, he was a shoeshine. It's like, bless you, sir. And he would bite, he would bite the, the Nick quarter. Nick. Yeah. Or whatever it was. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so... We're in big trouble over okay, here! There we go. Well, Phil. Oh! See, I had him, but it, he wouldn't let me shoot when I was doing slow mo. I thought I killed everybody, but nope, I didn't. <laughs> oh, and I saw him. I saw him right behind the guy when yep. you were. Uh, I thought it was just a random person screaming because you know of all the hectic things. I had to go. I had that one was a good spot. And in my brain, I was like, "You hit the slow motion." I was like, "You're only delaying the inevitable." As yep. soon as you come out of it, you're going to. Yep, we're dead. Yep. Well, like I said, we're just going to have to fast forward this 10, 15 minutes of me just screwing up. Uh, why? There was such engaging conversation. Yeah, there could be. It just may be a long episode then because of uh, me doing one stupid thing. Why? Game Grumps does it all the time. Oh, I know. It's, it's just funny that um, I don't remember this part being so hard. Aaron says that all the time. Exactly, I know, right? <laughs> when I was it, playing this by myself, I didn't have any problem with this mission. Three hours later. Yeah. Well, Rom, the vicocious spider, <laughs> has been kind of a bit of a pickle. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, you know how it is with me, my luck. Sometimes yeah. it's always good, sometimes it's always bad. I guess it shifted when we got um, our technical difficulties uh, No, it shifted revoked. when you came back from overseas. I'm trying to figure out what you did. Yeah, I know same you here. Did. You prayed at the wrong shrine. Something. Did you clap and bow? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of things that you have to do, especially, you know, also we have to wash your mouth, with, rinse your mouth uh, with water and everything. Yeah, isn't that a good way to get, like, herpes? Well, it's not, well, I don't know about herpes, but that's, <laughs> you know, you have to use water, you know, cleansing holy water. Wait, lady, you didn't notice what just happened. Oh, now it's Now she notices. Oh, oh, hello. Hi. You know. How's it going? Bingo. Good? Good. Bingo, what's his name? That, oh. That, that had to suck. That had to hurt, too. I know. Body's just eviscerated. Gun's there on the ground. Is that a can or is that a pill bottle? I can't tell. Either one. What's delicious? More delicious than Pocky. Oh, yeah. shit, he's taking a nap now. Yeah, he's doing something. Alright, so. I'm trying to. Wait for it. Just one. Wow. My speech. Am I having a stroke? <laughs> that too. Alright, so. No, there's one guy over there, but I'm trying to figure out if he's got any more helpers any place, you know? Probably, I wouldn't doubt it. That's what I'm trying to make sure on. I've had this. Okay, so he's Come going closer. over there. No, where are you? Come closer. Yeah, well, he's getting closer, but I just want one, oopsie, one guy to be on the opposite side, so while I'm not knocking that one guy out, he won't well, kill me. That's what I'm hoping for with the guy on the right, is that he's working to try and flank you. Yeah, so if he gets a little bit closer, I should Come be okay. The, Come to the right. Come to the you stupid... Uh, you well, this works the wrong too. way, you jackass. Oh, no. Oh, Alright, so it looks now. like he does have a helper over there. It's mano a mano. Almost. Mano a duo. Yep, because I see some... another arrow over there. Oh, that's fine. As long as you get to that. Wow, there's a lot of debris to get through. Yep. Okay, so there's one. Oh, here's ah. the other guy. Here you are. Hey, friend. Remember me? Ah. Alright, so there should be only one person left. 
Nasty. Oh yeah, that kind of reminds that reminds me. So, someone showed me this weird uh, animated thing about uh, Harry Potter with <gasps> when Guardian and Leviosa. Instead of doing that, you lift up a girl's skirt. Yep, yep, yep. I had a feeling it was going to wait. Did we do it? Yep, we did it, finally! Yay! Oh, rescue, okay. Make sure you put that gossip to good use. Yay! Yay! I rescued people! We did it! Alright, so let's try to do something productive without me doing this thing over and over again. Okay. Yeah, so let's do this one. The, the final one that should be delete, and I think we'll end the episode there. Okay, well, at least not that far. Yeah. I rescued you, I'm gonna use your car now. Thank Excuse you. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh oh. You can't call the cops. I say no. And then we run over and break your leg. Yep, well, he's on the floor for right now. Mm hmm. I'll bring it back out and need a bar. Thank you. Mm hmm. Kind of reminds me of that, um,. Oh, uh, the Jackie Chan uh, video game. Not video game. It was a video game, but still. He had a video game? Yeah, he had a video game. Uh, he also, um, the, the animated cartoon. He would always oh, yeah. borrow something and say, oh, I'll bring it back later, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I was in Japan, I didn't know this, but apparently there was a arcade beat-em-up game for Sailor Moon. See what? Yeah, so our Sailor Moon had an arcade beat-em-up game. Really? Yeah. Like L like Mortal like, Kombat style? Uh, not Mortal Kombat style. It's like, you know, um, Double Dragon, stuff like that. Okay. Where yeah. they used their fists. Yeah, and mad and their, say, their powers and all this other uh, stuff. I was about to say, an arcade beat them up. Like, but yeah, they it, literally used their fists and uh, their legs and their knees and all this stuff. It was it was a cool. Uh, I played, you could play as all the other Sailor Scouts, is what they were called. How many Sailor Scouts are there? There's a lot. There's the, the original so. one, there's the original four or five, and then there's the other ones that came out as well. Alien had a beat em up too. Really? Yeah, you play as two Marines and two Predators. Oh! Yeah. Cool. And it's like a beat em up thing, and your mission is to kill the aliens or escape, basically. Hmm. However. You and I has ends. Uh oh, you have completely. Really? Uh, that was going to be. Well, that was exactly quick. What I said, like, here's a spot where you have to go to. Oh crap! They're coming towards you. Yep. Get out of there. What? Was I just a patsy? I think somewhat of that. Oh shit! Yeah. Um. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. And you know we're gone. Right, and we're almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I need to get rid of the wow. everything. We gotta get away from the heat. Steam. Boom. Damn. Almost dead. Oh man. Aiden Pierce is such a badass in his leather coat and fedora hat. Oh yes. Uh oh. I don't know why I did that. For speedy turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. Yeah. Uh, I should be able to get out of this madness. As soon as I Holy crap. don't crash and die. Well, you know what? That just happens. At least he tucked in roll. Yeah, alright. Uh, excuse me, fine citizen. I'm going to need to borrow your vehicle. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Come right. again. Mm, you, uh, yeah. Give me old one, two, slip. Alright, so I should be... Well... You know, if I could drive. Yes. Excuse me before the helicopter sees me. Yes. All right, here we go. Behold the majesty of pickle condom. Pickle condom. That also works. Okay yes. then. Now I need to follow the target and steal the data. Okay. 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 Then so where is this guy? Oh, he's not too far away. I was about to say, can can we? No, he'll be gone by the time we fast travel now. Yeah, and I don't think during missions you can fast travel. Uh, well, that would make things too easy. Yeah. Quite Side like, missions, maybe. Quite frankly, yeah, it would make the, this game remarkably easy. Get this guy on the other side of the island. No sweat. Yep. But you can't teleport. Shit. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm surprised they don't have any missions in this game. Like, get to the other side of this island without teleporting, without using a vehicle. Really? I gotta chase a car on foot? Uh, there was something like that not that long ago, but... We had to chase it until we could get to a car. So it was uh, halfway uh, on foot and, uh, on the, and the other half in a car. Was that the one where we were in the house and we kept dying? Yeah, that one. 
because the it because the game wasn't being nice. Uh, All right, so hey, Fred. Hey, hey, I remember you. Remember me? Oh, wait, I think you're probably gonna bring friends, aren't you? Well, yeah. I think. Not gonna make this easy. Nope. Well, since I upgraded my car to do more damage when I crash into him, I should be a okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So I just need to bash him up a bit. If I can just get a good old ramming. Sp oh, I almost got. Uh, oh, excuse oh. me, lady. Oh, you almost we got squished. Almost. Oh, I did. Never mind. Oh, I was about to say dead. you almost got became a jibble. Oh, she's sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, now <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> It wouldn't quite be one of our videos unless a civilian died. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had three of them, so. She hit the fence so hard. I squashed oh, her. And then I hit somebody else. That was awesome. I didn't mean to. The, and you just turned into us. Yep. That's stupid. We're going to get your data. We're going to get your data, and there's nothing you can. Uh, bye okay, bye. See ya. Now I got to kill him. Oh. Oh, don't we have offensive weapon where you shoot out the window? Never no, mind. I wish we could. <laughs> <laughs> that um, would make things too easy. Well, we can wait. use the city to kill him. Wait, we just killed one of his goons? Yeah, that's it. We didn't kill him, we killed one of his goons. Uh, I'm trying to get this guy, but I'm trying to think if I... How did he take off so quick? Oh, because I messed up. Mm. I let him go. Oh! Wow! I did that to myself too, <laughs> just to show you how effective it was. Okay, so all the threats are gone. I just had. Oh! Yep, I saw it coming. It's done. That's all, stage we'll fans. Catch up. All right, so we just need to get rid of this guy. We I should survive the trip to get yeah. to him. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, he should have a beat up old sloppy right about now. Uh, Mine's yeah. still somewhat chugging uh, along. Yeah. It's a race to. Are you gonna crash into a wall? He may. Somebody. Wow, that car is surprisingly fast up close. Yeah, I know, right? Wow, dude, you're doing good. Yeah, somewhat. I know. I kinda messed well, up his car a bit. You, I'm talking about him. That's he's what doing I'm saying. Good. Yeah, I kind of messed up his car a bit, so he still should have some trouble, but not enough. That would scare the hell out of me if I saw somebody really driving like that on the highway. Like, let me just get out of the way. Yeah, well, he, that's kind of hard when he's also driving on the opposite end of traffic. Like, where is he? I think he's off. Oh, wow. He's about to crash into somebody. I know. He's, for a guy who has an engine that's smoking, possibly one deflated tire, and a passenger side door that's dented completely the hell in Yep. He is doing great. Yay! And All right, so. Yeah, you got him. Get out of the car so I can kill you. Mazel tov. And boom! He he fainted. I know, right? He fainted. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Back wow. Here. He almost fainted before you even had a chance to touch him. Nope. Well, I think he knew what was coming. <sighs> so so now I just got to get escape from his his backup. What? Your boss is dead. Well, Why? they got. They got. Well, maybe they were friends. You know, they got to earn their paycheck somehow. We're gonna avenge you. Bye bye. Sick. That was actually pretty cool. Yep. Are we on the college campus? Uh, I think we're near one. Yeah. Nice. I'm just trying not to run over anybody else. Killing college students left. Hey, alert! This one's smart. Macabre. Oh uh, uh, man. All right. I think I should be able to go out here and hopefully not go into the water. We're gonna free Willie. We're gonna do well, it. Well, I did something to free Willy. Yay! Boom. Now we gotta reach target look. What? Yep. Well, we gotta drop off the look of the information. Remember, do we shouldn't we, be too far away. Do we even have a bumper anymore? I don't think so. I don't think we have Holy much of anything hell. anymore. There's a bumper right there. If you wow. want to know, I think we should probably get something new. Uh, I'm in agreement with you. And Let's get a UPS truck. Wow. What can Brown? Do? Um. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> yes. I'm calling the police. Well, my phone doesn't work anymore. Please state the nature of your emergency. Oh, uh, yeah. No, sorry. No cops. No, thank you. Yep. We did a lot to escape. We're not going to have you wreck it. Yep. Oh, man. But yes, I get no one should suspect the UPS truck. Ah, uh, yes. No one expects that. the Inquisition. Yeah. Oh. You guys know where that reference is from. You can go get yourself a cookie. Yeah, the kind of that kind of reminds me of that one movie where um oh god it was just like it's a cult classic but has some of the worst acting ever. The Big Lebowski. That's no, that one's a funny one. 
<laughs> no, it's something else. I can't remember where one of the famous things is like, oh, hello, Mark. Uh, All this other weird stuff. I can't. I don't. I, I know what the. I'm pretty sure someone has it on their top ten cult classic bad movies. Well, I mean, I would imagine I've probably seen it. It's it's good. I mean, like, if you know what it is, the movie I'm talking about, just leave it in the comments. But it's just Please. funny. It it's because it's like one of those movies that you laugh because it's stupid funny. Oh. Uh. Even because every no matter. Cause he's literally like, "You're tearing me apart." And he sounds just like that. Really? Yes. Uh, it's funny. I wish you knew the name of it because it sounds. I'm pretty great. sure I can look it up. Yep. Cause I, I chocolate I'm, milk. Yep. Yeah, we're in a chocolate milk van. Yeah. But uh, yeah, between episodes, we go. Oh, I think I killed somebody. It didn't show up. It didn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. The epic <laughs> dodge. He, he either dodged or went flying. The Matrix died at the last second. There we go. I uploaded somewhere. Uh, thank goodness. Are you happy now, dead sec? Mm, I hope so. No, I think we, we have one more mission, I think, phone with call. this. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Alright. We like your kind. The kind that doesn't ask too many questions and drives really crazy. <laughs> yeah. You've earned our respect. We're bowing. Really, right you're now. bowing? I'm pretty sure. We thank you for your efforts. You've earned our Will you trust. join us for tea and crumpets? Will you join to the us queen? for our celebration? Yep, that's one last mission we have to do. Okay. Yep. But we will end the episode here. Oh, oh yeah. Boy, damn it. That Ooh. one took longer than I wanted because for some odd reason the game was just saying, ah -huh. That one was funny, though. Yeah, it was. Uh, but um, we have one... Two, Prof. three, four, Prof. that two, five, Prof. I think Prof. there's only five more, five, six more missions left. Okay. Side missions, so we'll finish, like I said, I'm going to try to finish up the um, uh, sex trafficking thing, and then the gun running, and then the last control alt delete thing, and then we'll continue with the main mission on the next episode. Okay, so thank you all so much for joining us. I am Shay. I'm Matt Hatter. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.